Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be checking out the 2024 Kia Niro EV. Now before we get started with the video, if you guys want a free quote on this vehicle or any new or used vehicle, click the link in the description to get a free quote today. But let's go ahead and check out this all electric vehicle from Kia. So starting up front, you have your charge port where if you push on that, it comes right out for you. So up front, we have our 240 volt plug-in with a DC fast charging capability right below that. So with DC fast charging, you should be able to get to about 80% in an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. Also up front, we have our LED accident headlights with your headlight bulb right there. Kia badging up top, and if I go ahead and pop the hood, you're gonna have some storage to move there, as well as some electric components to keep on going. So to open this up, just push on the right on this little tab right here. And you have all of your electric components, coolant, everything under here with these little tabs that you can open up and store stuff inside of. Let's go ahead and close that back up. Moving to the side, we have these wheels. Now this is a rental vehicle that I have here in Florida. So I'm not sure what they use from the factory, but these are wrapped in soulless tires. These are 215, 55, 17s. It's a nice black wheel with aluminum accents all the way around. Also, another nice feature is the keyless entry on the doors. If you hit that with a key in your pocket, that will either lock or unlock the vehicle. Now for the back seat space, if you look inside, on the door, we have aluminum door handles with your armrest, storage up top, and storage down below. Now we have these seats in the back that are kind of half leather, half cloth that are able to seat up to three people. I can also pull down on the center console and you have two cup holders right there that you can put back up or use it as an armrest. Now I'll go ahead and, and hop inside of here. I'm about six foot tall on a good day with shoes on. So really good leg room inside this vehicle. Really good headroom. We have handles on both sides so you can hold on. There's storage behind the driver and passenger seat with these USB-C chargers on the back seats as well, which is a really cool feature if you need to charge some stuff while you're back here. So that's on the passenger and driver's seat, two AC vents back here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. So how we're going to get on this vehicle. You can open it up by pushing this button and you have your portion sensors right below that. So there's storage on the left side and the right side, and you can also pull up on this to reveal a little storage area with all of your towing components. There is no spare tire, so you have a um, air compressor right there to fill the tires back up. You can also fold these down, and they do lay flat. So plenty of storage space back there as well. Let's go ahead and close it back up, and we'll hop in the driver's seat. So same thing up front, you have all of your window and mirror controls. This does have blind spot monitoring in the mirror, so that little triangle right there will light up orange if there's something in your blind spot. Storage up top, storage down below with a power driver's seat. Now if I hop inside, really good space inside of here as well. Like I said, I'm six foot tall. Really good headroom, really good legroom. Everything is fully adjustable. Power seat that can go forwards, backwards, recline, and you can adjust your bump marks out of here. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at all the features inside this vehicle. So let me go ahead and turn the AC down so you can hear me better. So starting up, we have our steering wheel, kind of flat bottom steering wheel with no, you know, stick outs right here. It's really nice to grab a hold of. Right below here, we have our charging, regenerative charging braking. So you can turn that all the way up, as you can see there, or you could turn it down with the right paddle, just depending on how hard you want the regenerative braking to be. So as soon as you slow down, it'll stop braking for you and that's how you adjust the power for that. Also in the display, you can see how many miles of range we have, our kilowatt hours that we're using per mile, speed limit, and a ton of different vehicle statistics inside of here. So if you hit this button, you can scroll through all those. You have your miles per hour, you have your compass, and you have your tire pressure. Miles per hour on the left side, and you can see how charged the battery is. All of your light controls are on the left side, and all of your windshield wiper controls are on the right. Turn up or down the brightness on this display. You can open up the back tailgate and you can turn on or off your traction control. Underneath there, you can pull this out very easily to get to some stuff. I'm not sure what that is, but it is there. 
this is a manually adjustable steering wheel so you can pull it out you can go up down forwards and backwards also on the left side of the steering wheel we have our cruise control we can also adjust up or down our speed and scroll up or down through our menus up here you have um forward gap adjust so you can have a three car two car or one car length with lane keep assist now there's different drive modes in this vehicle you have sport eco and normal with the optional snow mode the right side of the steering wheel you can change your different input mode so you can have bluetooth audio usb hands-free voice commands you can go up and down through your music and turn the volume up or down you can go to your favorites and you can answer or drop calls in the middle here we have a wireless phone charger with a usb usb-c Here's our start button so you can cut on or off this vehicle with heated seats on the driver and passenger side. Front and back parking sensors, and we do have a backup camera on this vehicle that is very clear and easy to use. Auto hold button, so if you go to a complete stop while you're in drive, it'll go ahead and hold for you so you don't have to keep your foot on the brake. Here's our shifter so we can push for park, we can push to the right for drive, left for reverse, and then towards the middle for neutral. We also have these cup holders here in the middle, so if you push this button right here, when they're adjusted all the way in, you can push those into your cup holder spots or you can leave them for extra storage. Plenty of storage here in the center with a center console with pretty good space to put sunglasses. In the middle here, we have all of our AC controls, which you can switch to your radio controls. Super interesting display here. It is kind of confusing to go back and forth, but it is very easy to use once you get used to it. We have an AC vent to the left, two in the middle with our hazards and an AC vent right here. At night, these will be little light bars right here that'll light up for you to illuminate the cabin. In the middle, we have our glove box with plenty of storage space. Same seating accents up here. We have full leather and cloth accented driver and passenger seats. Now we have a really cool display system in this vehicle. So you have all of your driver information on the left side and on the right side, you have all of your modes. So you have EV, map, navigation, phone, phone projection, which is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as climate, valet mode, quiet mode, HD radio data, your radio and your setup. There's a ton of different apps inside of this vehicle that you can swap through and use as needed. Now, if you're in phone projection with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, it is only USB, so it is not wireless. But other than that, you have AM, FM, Sirius XM radio that you can pull up and use your navigation to the right so we have built-in navigation from Kia. It'll show you your nearest charging stations, which is a really nice touch to have inside an electric vehicle so you know where to charge at at all times. But that is the inside and outside of the Kia Nero EV. Let's go ahead and take it on the road for a test drive. All right, guys, so taking off in the 2024 Kia Nero EV, I'm gonna go ahead and put her into reverse. Just like that, I have my backup camera. It's letting me know that van is coming by. A lot of great safety features on this vehicle. So this is a full electric vehicle, so it really doesn't make very much noise at all. Let's go ahead and put it into drive. And there are a few different drive modes. So right now I'm in normal mode, but once we get out on the road, we'll try out sport and everything like that and see how the response is. So the total range on this vehicle is supposed to be 253 miles. Now I noticed when I was using it and charging it throughout the days, it randomly dropped like a hundred miles of range for some reason. I don't know if that was a software error, but it was just really weird. It went from like 183 miles to 83 miles. Then I charged it today for 30 minutes and got up to about 50% when I was almost out. But I'll go ahead and flip it over into sport mode and we'll see how she does. So definitely more response from the pedal. It definitely gets up and goes. These electric vehicles are very fast off of the line. So same thing with this one. Go ahead and take a left up here. So there's a ton of great safety features on this vehicle. We have the lane keep assist, which I really like to use. Um, so you can turn that on by activating it on the steering wheel and it'll pretty much drive the car for itself. So with that activated, it'll let you know in the center screen that it's activated with the green line pointing forward. Um, we also have forward collision assist, so if I get too close to this vehicle, it will go ahead and slow down for me. 
and we have the regenerative braking. So the setting I like to use is right there in the middle so it's not slowing down a whole lot and jerking us forwards and backwards. But overall, it's a great riding vehicle. It is pretty quiet inside of here, which is surprising. There's not too much noise coming inside. Um, suspension is very good as well. Just driving around town is a very comfortable ride. Um, I've also used out the storage quite a bit. We were able to get two suitcases, two bags in there, no problem whatsoever. It also does have adaptive cruise control, so that's very nice to use on the highway as well. It'll pretty much just drive the vehicle for you, but all in all, it's a great driving little EV. But let's go back and we'll go ahead and close out the video. All right guys, that is it for today's video. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of the 2024 Kia Niro EV? Like I said before, if you guys want a free quote on this vehicle or any new or used vehicle, click the link in the description to get a free quote today. But that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below for more car content.